five days before the Northern Lights broke out all across the country for two nights, um, I gave a prophetic word about solar flares and the solar flares and geostorms and all this scenario. And why did I do this? Well, I did it because I believe that it is part of a mechanism using real scenarios or or induced scenarios, falsified scenarios to bring about a normalcy bias if we indeed see something horrible happen like an EMP. So let's look at this prophecy first from November 5th, watch. When we see the rise again of solar flares, know that even if there's real solar flares that they're, mar they're checking and watching and seeing, know that Shortly behind a solar flare narrative, I've prayed about this for a few years now, I, this is so strong every time I look at it, is a false flag event. What do I mean by that? A false flag event would be that they say, oh no, the solar flare narrative is rising. The solar flare narrative, uh, look at this, uh, again, there's another you know, burst coming off the sun uh, towards earth and it's gonna disrupt so many things. Here's what I really think. I think that they will use this type of narrative and what will end up happening eventually is it is a marshaled mechanism to release an EMP. What's an EMP? It's an electromagnetic pulse. It's a way to fry electrical devices. It's all that. I've given words about this over the years, but it was really strong on me five days, six days before this actually happened. So I wrote it on the board, and then we saw one of the most um, wild geostorms we've ever seen. I believe that we are being set up with a normalcy bias where they say, oh, here comes another solar storm, here comes another issue, and they lead us to the point where they could say it's gonna knock out everything and knock out the power grids, release an EMP and say it was a solar storm. And so I, whether it's real from space, a real thing going on with the sun and all of it, or if it's absolutely just a narrative and they're doing things through HARP or technologies we don't understand all the way from Antarctica, I believe that this will be a mechanism that's used in the future to knock out power grids, wipe out cell service, all that kind of stuff. Now, again, when I get into this stuff, please don't, don't let your heart be troubled. Jesus is Lord. I believe that's the reason we're talking about it is because we are disrupting the plans of darkness, the plans of evil, and that is what's going on there. So uh, let's just look at uh, uh, cut three. Guy just talks about what was going to happen the day before it happened. Listen to this information just for a moment. Another major geomagnetic storm is currently on its way to Earth. It's expected to hit later today and tonight, and when it does, we're looking at G4 to potentially G5 intensity, the highest that scale goes.